Well, everyone, hi, this is Rashonda Thornton. And Natalie Jensis. It is Saturday here in St. Louis, and it is sunny and it's warming up. So I am very happy to, to see that. Um, yesterday, uh, we, it was Friday, and we talked about um, being in a situation of reverse. Now we're at three weeks going on, four weeks. We got to start being thoughtful about our choices when it comes to what we are spending our money on and also how we find ways to save some of our resources so that it will stretch longer. So if you didn't get a chance to watch it, feel free to go to either one of our Facebook pages or our, or our YouTube page and you'll be able to watch that segment. It was very inform inform informational. Um, but today uh, we're going to talk about um, getting creative with things that means the most to you. And so I translate things, things is most, what I'm talking about is people and it's talking about experiences. Um, a lot of times we're used to uh, creating those experiences um, outside of our homes. You know, we, we can't wait to go out for nice dinners and the ambiance of it. We love going to sporting events. Uh, we love taking our kids to different places where they can interact with their friends and play. Uh, for those who are, church is a big thing. We are religious settings. We enjoy going to those places. And right now we don't have those things. And so we miss them. Um, I think it's natural, it's okay to miss those things because that's what brings us joy. That's what puts puts together what we see, how we see life. You know, but now now that we don't have those things, how are you finding a way to remove the shell? And I say shell, remove the ambience or the environment that you're used to going to and recognize what's the most important out of it. And I, I, I obviously think what's the most important out of it is the people that you're doing it with. So how are we going to, you know, work through these times and get creative with working with um, appreciating and um, having spending time and doing things with the people you're with, because that's what's most important through these times. Yeah, I agree, Rashonda. I mean, um, it doesn't matter so much what you're doing all the time as you just miss the people that you're used to doing it with. And you might miss even your work friends. I know my kids miss their school friends. So you know, how do you make that connection just to keep that um, not feeling so empty, like you're missing things? And um, that's what we're going to talk about today. I think it's really important because it's a big piece of um, just filling your bucket and, and having that joy in life. Yes, I agree. And so we're just going to start off with just kind of some categories because it's a lot to cover, but we'll just kind of narrow it down. Um, so when I'm thinking about like, how can you keep the most essential pieces of what makes you happy and those are the people. Think about like how you can create that online and with the virtual technology and how accessible that is. Um, one thing I know for, for a fact that, that works is, you know, having like, still having your coffee time with your coworkers and still having your coffee time with your friends. Put it in your schedule, plan it to have that hour carved out or have tea time, you know, during the afternoon time, find a time during lunch and have lunch together. I have done it a couple of times with a few coworkers, and I tell you that it was actually really fun because you build a relationship with these people, so you're not talking work, you're just reconnecting, and connecting with humans don't necessarily have to be physical connection, because it's by seeing them, it's, it's almost the same feeling, so take some time and schedule those things out, even with your family members. Now, family members can be a little different because you can have multiple people going on at the same time, <laughs> but so I would, I, would, I would encourage some more of a guided, family chat you know where everyone gets the opportunity to say something but then it's topical related so we all are just not scattered um but you'll find that even connecting with your family from afar using this technology you still get the same feeling and connection you will find that you're enjoying every moment of it so i would just you know take advantage of those opportunities um, don't look at this as i can't wait to see my people you can still see your people virtually right you don't always have to be there physically so you know change what you think and just find and bring that into your your bucket of ways to keep connection with people yeah i guess that makes sense because someone was proposing a happy hour over zoom and i was just like but is it the same thing you know <laughs> and the the family thing i'm saying yeah i would definitely have to have the guy to take your turns talking little ones especially but um I guess it's kind of like the muscle memory thing. Like you, it just triggers old, uh, the old ambience that you're used to. So it's, it works when you mm -hmm. start chatting with them. So that's good. It um, does. Like entertainment is another category of things that we're missing right now. Right. So, um, we got a little creative last night because, you know, as we were coming up with ideas for this, I thought I'd put one into practice. <laughs> and so we did a camp out in the living room last night. You like my camping here? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like it. <laughs> Relaxing. <laughs> so we threw the sleeping bags in the living room and did a camp out. You could do this in your backyard when it's maybe even tonight. It's a little bit warmer. Um, for movie times, you know, you could get a little creative and put the TV in the backyard or some people are able to put a projector in your backyard already. So do some more of that. You could even huddle up around the iPad in the back of the pickup truck in the driveway and oh. have some popcorn, you know. Um, just make it a little fun and quirky and um, you'll feel like you're having a different experience and being, you know, stuck in your house all the time. And um, I've actually posted on Facebook and got some ideas from some of my friends. And one of them suggested for travel, if you're missing travel, there's a Facebook group called View, uh, View From My Window. And she said it's awesome. She can just, you know, feels like she's in all these other places traveling. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, and another thought that somebody shared recently was, um, I'm kind of morphing the thought, but it's, it was like a front porch gathering at the same time with your neighbors and singing or dancing or whatever it may be that you like to do. You could even possibly schedule a, uh, that you're all watching the movie at the same time and enjoying it across the street from one another. So there's definitely ways to get creative with the entertainment aspect of things. Um, what else I have? Oh, if you want to get creative with your pets, you can put an agility course up in the backyard and have some fun with that. Um, can you hear my hoodlums in the background? <laughs> the kids are a little uh, crazy this morning from the camp out. Hopefully <laughs> it's not all coming through. Um, I've seen for celebrations, you can do the, the, the front porch singing to your friends. Uh, from the, from the street or whatever, and then I've seen cars parade around with a uh, birthday parade, just honking and yelling out the window at their friends. I thought something was going wrong yesterday on my dog walk, and I'm like, oh, it's a party. <laughs> yep, the party on wheels. So um, those are some ideas for entertainment. Now I know we're big sports fans, so we miss those things as well. And what we can do instead is to, you know, if you're watching, instead of watching the cards play now, we could watch, put in the old DVDs from the old uh, World Series that we have or find it on YouTube and watch an old game if you miss it a lot and be able to tell your kids about these older time players that they didn't have a chance growing up with. Um, you can create your own obstacle course in your backyard have a wiffle ball, wiffle ball game in the backyard. Take advantage of, you know, you can't have a scrimmage right now, kids, but work on your skills and practice mm -hmm. every day or whatever, possible. whatever yeah. sport you're doing. Um, and you can create challenges that you do as a family to do, you know, practice dribbling every day or whatever it may be. And another idea is to, while you're on your dog walk, let the kids play catch with the football or whatever it may be that dribbling around the block with the basketball. Your neighbors mm -hmm. might not love that, but <laughs> the noise, but I think they'll understand. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. So what else and, I, and I was going to say, you know, we're talking about a lot of family things. I think that's great. It's, these are some great ideas. So please, you know, think about what works for you and, and go forward with it. Um, well, and for those who just are dating or you know, married couple, like we can't go out, right? And so like, how are you getting created with your special dates? Um, hopefully you have a porch or a little balcony, you know, get out there, put lights up, get you some wine, turn on your show or even not even a show. Uh, just turn on music and just enjoy each other's time and not have to feel like you have to be at a restaurant to make it happen. Um, again, you want to look at what's most important and that's going to be the, the person um, that you're with and experience that you're having. So get creative, recreate, you know, um, some of these um, typical pat, uh, life things that we do on a regular basis. So you can still keep the essence of that because that's what you don't want to lose is the essence of you know, doing these things that make you happy. Don't feel like you're, you just because you don't, can't go outside your walls that you have to shut all of those things down. No, you got to work around it. So these are workaround ideas to help you and uh, to help 
Um, just keeping your mindset positive and knowing that someday soon we will be able to go out to the sports games. We'll be able to go out to eat dinner. We'll have all that in due time. But right now, just focus on making the most of what you have with the people that you love. Um, so we hope that helps you this Saturday. Enjoy your weekend. Um, and we will come back with another one um, day 26 tomorrow. So we're, we're getting close to the end. We got 30 days of this. So hope you guys have been able to kind of enjoy all the different um, talks we've had over the last couple of weeks. So enjoy your weekend and we will talk to you tomorrow. Have a great one, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.